Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create this type of video which made me a million views on Instagram. A lot of people ask me a breakdown on how to do this. I'm gonna show you today. First of all, we need to delete the cube and everything. Press 7 on the, on the keyboard to go on the top view. A shift A at cube. Now we need to scale it by 1.618. We need to set the origin of the cube at this point. Let's press shift S to and set origin to 3D cursor. Now let's place this point on the 3D cursor by pressing Shift S8. Now we need to add other cubes. Another one here, another one smaller here, another one smaller again here and here. So let's duplicate this cube, GY, move it on the Y axis. Let's set this here, uh, set the origin of this cube to the 3D cursor. Now we need to scale this cube by 0.618. Okay, so now the origin is here. Let's place back the uh, center point here and Shift S. Eight. So now we need to repeat this action a bunch of times. We need to do that uh, one more time. I'm gonna speed up this in the video. Okay, so now we have created the bases. If you want, you can do it one more time. So now we need to uh, animate those cubes. We're gonna animate those ones. So we're gonna click here around 450 frames. Uh, let's animate this at 60 frames per second. First cube gonna be this one hitting the center. Let's divide 450 by four. Let's type here 112. We know at the end of this part at 112 the cube needs to be here. So let's press I, location and rotation. Go over there and place the cube here. Okay, when we press play it goes like this. Now we need, we want the, the cube to rotate for coming the hole. So we press J on the, we go on the first frame. Go J, X for example. You rotate this a bit and you press insert location and rotation. So now I'm gonna show you later in the video how to make it smooth so it looks like it's real but now it sounds very blocky you know let's animate the other cubes so now 112 first frame to do four or the last one so the second cube gonna be this one let's go last frame location and rotation minus 12 here third location and rotation let's go to the first frame of the animation for this cube and place it here rotate it Location and rotation. Okay, sounds good. So now let's go to this one. Let's add 112. Now we know at the end of the animation this one should be a minus 12 GZ to move it above. And now go to last frame minus 112 like this. Sorry for that. Okay, so now let's animate the last one. Location and rotation like before. Here, minus 12. Y axis. Rotate it. Location and rotation. So now you have this animation. So now what we want to do is animate the camera. Let's place the camera by pressing Shift A, camera. Press Ctrl, Alt and Numpad 0. Let's change the aspect ratio. 1080 by 920. What I usually like to do is to go in the camera and viewport display and let's crank up the passport 2. Okay, so now it's approximately centered. We need the camera to zoom in the center of this hole and in the center of the hole at the end here. So to do this, really simple. Import plan, scale it. Now press this, uh, press this cube, the smallest one. This one. Select the point. Shift S two. Place the 3D cursor over there. Click on this vertex now. Shift S eight to place it on the 3D cursor. Same for this one. Shift S two. Place this one. Shift S eight here. Shift S two. This one. Shift S eight. And for the last one here. Okay, so now we have this rectangle fitting perfectly in the in the center. So set origin to center of mass. So the origin is here now. 
Let's place the 3D cursor in the middle here as well. So let's place Shift S2. So now let's hide this in the render. And here, uh, we need to add an empty con uh, controlling the camera. You can scale it down. So now, at the last frame, press K, location and rotation. So at the end of the animation, the cube is going to be here. And let's parent the camera to the cube. So press in first the camera after the cube, Control P, object. So now if I move this cube, the camera moves as well. If I scale it, it's the same. So now we need to create another place for the first frame. So let's add another plane, let's scale it down. Select this vertex, Shift S2. Select this one, Shift S8. Shift S2. This one, Shift S8. Uh, we're gonna do the same for this one, Shift S2. Uh, okay, Shift S8. Shift S2. Shift S8. Okay, so now we have this rectangle fitting perfectly the, the center, so the region to center of mass. Press Shift S2 to reset the position. Go to the first frame, press on the, on the empty cube and press Shift S8. And press K, location and rotation. So now we can hide this plane and let's play the animation. Okay, nice. So now what we need to do is scale this cube down during the animation. So during the time the block goes down, the camera zooms in. Okay, nothing more simple than this. Okay, let's select the empty. Uh, press K to, to, to insert scale and go to the 112 frame and scale by 6.18. And press K, insert scale. Okay, we're going to do the same for the other one. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now let's play the animation. Okay, we need to fill those uh, those holes uh, at the start. And we need to fix the, the animation of the cube. Let's make the, let's create the scene around this so we can see like here, you know, the green. Now we're first frame, and last frame it's exactly the same spot. So now we need to hide the, the need to move those cubes. So let's take the cube and move it on the x axis so we can see it on the camera. Press K, location and rotation. Let's play the animation. So let's go to here, object properties, and go to this frame. You go here and you press animate property. Okay, you go one frame before, you uncheck viewport renders, and you press it again, the points. And now the, the cube will appear only at this moment. If we press play, okay, so now as you can see, we're first frame, and the cube is like this. And we go to the last frame, it's exactly the same spot, okay? Okay, so now we need to texture the everything. So now it's gray, it's ugly, okay? Here, press S to shader editor and go to word here. Now what we can change is the color if you want. Or if you have this add-on, Blender, Blender, uh, Blender Kit add-on, you can go here and uh, you usually use Studio. Okay, beautiful. I use this one, download it. Okay, beautiful. If you want, you can rotate it. Uh, make it this one blue. Add a bit transmission. Okay, what you can do as well is press A, press the, the this cube or another one. Go to modifiers, add panel, search bevel. Uh, when you press bevel, 
press Alt and bevel, so it will bevel everything. Um, you can keep pressing Alt and adjust this Alt and, uh, and Shift, so you can reduce the angles like this. Okay, perfect. Now you press right click, shade auto smooth, and even if you go at the first frame, uh, the last nothing changes. Maybe this one. Okay, those ones. Okay, press those one first. This one because this one have already the bevel. Press Alt, go here, copy to selected, and shade of smooth. So now everything is perfect. Okay, beautiful. Okay, go back to the shader editor. Now it's time to tweak the settings. And uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna texture this really quick. Okay, so this one needs to be the same color as this one, and this one as this one. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Uh, to link materials, what one thing you can do is you select, for example, the white one and press the the blue one. Control L and press M to link materials. I'm going to take this one, go to the shader editor, press here, and make a new variant of the of the color. So we choose orange, for example. I'll decrease this. And those one, this one, link material as well. Okay, let's open a new window here with the timeline and T. Beautiful. Okay, this one needs to be the same color as this one. Okay, this one. I'm gonna link materials. Select this one. Create a new variant. And make it pink if you want. Okay, same. Okay, now press this one to this one. Link materials. Select this one. New variant. And what we're gonna take is this color. Okay, okay, so now we need to tweak the lighting a bit, so let's go to here, word, and put in 2, for example, to make it brighter, and I like usually when the light is around here, so let's tweak this, I think this is not the main light, or I would change maybe, mm. let's take this one, no this one, this one is good, okay this one is beautiful, okay so we have some beautiful sh shadows here, Let's see this. Okay. Okay, we're, we're gonna change this a bit. Okay, this is better like this. Uh, okay, this one. Okay, now you can play with the lighting if you want. You can change the strength. Okay, now here's... Okay, what we can change as well is the... The way the blocks falls in. I'll show you really quick, but you do it if you want. Okay, here is the first cube. You select it. You press Ctrl Tab to go in the graph editor. And you can, for example, change the Z position make it smooth, smoother, sorry, or even the, the rotation or everything, you know, so you take this, uh, this one, and you can scale it, so as you can see, okay, okay this one was ugly, but yeah, the X location, you can change it as well, you can scale it this way, so it goes slower at the, at the, at the start, and it speeds up at the end, so you can do it for all of them. This one is well location. To this one. Same for this one, X location. You can increase it a bit. And same for this one. Y location. Okay, so now let's press play. And here we have the final render. As you can see, you can't notice when the loops is, when the when the loops when the video restarts again. So you can't notice when the video restarts again. Beautiful, beautiful.
and now you can add some more things if you want. If you want another video, we'll show you how to rotate the, the cubes on their, on their own axis. Uh, I may show you. I will put the, the link for the file in the description below. And that's all. If you want another video, a deeper video for uh, how to do it, let me, let me know in the comment section. See, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon, I hope.